When our community of St. Margaret Mary Parish reflected on what we're thankful for in 2020, we had four big blessings to celebrate. Family, faith, friends, and good health, especially for the good health of avoiding COVID-19. And we had plenty of other blessings to celebrate as well. Having a steady job, being an American, finding out that you're finally cancer-free, and being able to help others through volunteer opportunities were just a few of the other blessings that topped people's lists. And of course, we're thankful for St. Margaret Mary Church, being able to attend Mass, and for our awesome parish family. Speaking of family, members of our households are among the people we're most thankful for. Husbands are thankful for their wives, and wives are thankful for their husbands. We feel blessed for the love from our kids, our grandkids, and our great-grandkids, too. And family doesn't just mean our blood relatives, as one respondent explained. I am very grateful that God has brought a variety of friends into my life. I consider each and every one of them my extended family. Our extended family blessings include our friends, co-workers, mental health support staff, and all of the dedicated volunteers serving others throughout this year. And the one person that our parish family is most grateful for is Father Ken. His presence here truly makes all the difference. People reported tons of gratitude from random acts of kindness from friends who stepped in to bake Christmas cookies after a hospitalization, to kind strangers who helped pay for parking, meals, or even grocery items, we had lots to be thankful for. The kindness of a hospital nurse, an anonymous donation after a bad accident, and a thoughtful phone call from Father Ken after a scary diagnosis were other random blessings that people hold near and dear to their hearts in 2020. There are blessings to celebrate everywhere you turn. We reflected on our everyday blessings and found a bounty to be thankful for. Beautiful weather, the unconditional love and support from our spouses, and a safe and comfortable home are the biggest blessings from our normal lives. We're thankful for stimulus checks and steady incomes too, and even for low-carb tortillas. No matter how big or small, we're thankful for them all. Yet even in the low points of our lives, there are lessons to learn and blessings to find. When we reflected on our bad experiences, we were able to see things to be thankful for. Dealing with daily pain or loss of ability due to aging has taught us to feel deeper empathy for others. Orders to self-isolate and quarantine have given us more time to spend connecting with family and loved ones and taught us to rethink our priorities. We've come up with new ways to reach out and support each other, to be more patient with each other, and to let go of the small stuff. Seeing the active faith of others during our times of crisis has helped bring us back to God and given us the grace to forgive those who have wronged us. These low points have brought us closer to our faith and taught us how to pray more deeply, more meaningfully, and more often. And that's the beauty of a thankful heart. When we choose to focus on our blessings and give thanks, we are generously rewarded. As one survey taker said, when one has a grateful heart, it is very difficult to be whining and grumbling. Thankfulness is a warm hug, a full heart, a humble smile, and a happy tear. It's the acknowledgement that we are blessed and the inspiration to share our joy with others. Just imagine how beautiful the world could be if everyone would celebrate their blessings and give thanks with a grateful heart. From Father Ken and all of the St. Margaret Mary Parish staff, we'd like to wish each of you and your families a happy, healthy, safe, and blessed Thanksgiving.